Hey y'all. Hey, look at this. The word equations has popped up. Ooh, it's getting into algebra now. Equations, it's just scary. Okay. Well, let's define the word equation. We've actually, you know, we've done these before, like something like this. We go, oh, find what is AX plus, uh, you know, 3A, if A is this and X is that. Well, that's called an expression. There isn't any equal sign. And that's what equations have. In other words, if you have something like this, 5x minus 7 equals 10, that's an equation. That's how we, we can solve those. If we have something like this and there's just one variable in the equation, we can do that. And we'll do it more a little bit later. But a true equation would be something like this. You know, I don't know, 7 plus 4 equals 11. True equation. Equal sign, and it's true. Now, if you said 7 minus 4 equals 11, that's an equation, but it's a false equation. So everybody knows 7 minus 4 is 74. Okay. All right, there's a conditional equation. This equation can be true on what condition? You tell me. What's the condition? If x is equal to 3, then that's a true equation, right? If x is anything other than 3, well, then that's not a true equation. It's, it, it's, it'll be false. 3 plus 4 is 7. That's the only number that out there that will equal 7 when you add to 4. Okay. Now, we can look at an equation like this. and Let's go ahead and copy this down. That's a conditional equation, right? X, this will be true only if x equals what? 6, right? X is equal, in other words, you've solved this equation when you, when you say, oh, x is equal to 6, because that makes it a true equation. Okay, how about this one? x minus 4 is equal to 10. The only way this could be a true equation, it's on this one condition, that x is equal to 14, right? That's the only condition. Okay. That's equations. All right, let's try a couple of practice problems on page 121. All right, well, it looks pretty straightforward here. When, under what condition does this first equation become true? If x is equal to <coughs> 6, right? There we go. Okay, how about the second one? What will make this true? If x is equal to 18, right? Okay, how about this one? Don't say 8. Okay, what number minus 14 is equal to 6? Remember those word puzzle types we had earlier? Subtraction and this number and that number. You re okay, 20 will give you the correct answer on this one. Okay, all right, short lesson. Do a great job with those practice problems, okay? See you next time.